Welcome to the release of the Wii Baby Core XY 3D printer. This is an open source, open build 3D printer, a DIY project, a reprap project for everyone to build. All the source files will be available. It is already published. And this is the first in a series of build logs explaining how to create this machine yourself. I advise you have some mechanical experience from before. It is not the cheapest build. The cost of this machine is about the same as buying a Prusa printer. You will have a much more advanced machine. So if you are interested in 3D printers in general and want to learn about the process or you want to build this machine together with me, then hit subscribe. Hit the bell for all updates and let's start the process looking at sourcing all the parts. Here is a picture of the current beta build. So we will have about 200 by 200 by 200 build volume. This machine is very accurate. It is very fast. So I've done prints down to 0.6 with this machine. Here is the 3D model of the machine we are going to make. How to get all the components, where you can buy them and how much they will cost. In the description below, there will be a link to the main repository for this machine, which is on GitHub. This machine also has been released on uh, open builds, on my mini factory, on Thingiverse, and I can link to those as well. The always updated repository is the GitHub one. I recommend you clone or download the repository. After downloading the files, go to document library. Let's start with the open build order list. These are all the mechanical parts. I recommend that you go with the open build kit. I have a cooperation with an open build supplier, deliver to all over the world and he cuts precise, he taps the ends, he has the good wheels for you. Also have all the fasteners so we don't have to source fasteners like everywhere. It will not be cheap. So let's have a look at the kit. Buying this in either black or silver. This kit includes all the linear guides, all the wheels, all the fasteners for the build. If you don't buy the kit I just uh, showed you, then here's a list of all the hardware you need to buy. And you need to source this yourself. I'm not able to do that, I'm sorry. It's 806 fasteners. <laughs> now, more exciting, let's go to the component list. So let's start from the top. Let's order the board. In this link, you want to choose the board only. You don't want any DIY stuff. You don't want uh, DREs or whatever, just the board. So add, add that to your cart. Let's look at the LCD controller. So get the TFT24 kit and add that to your cart. Then we want drivers. So you could go with four 2209s. These have been difficult to source. So if you don't find the 2209s online, then go with the 2208s, they work fine. In any cases, be sure to mark the UART option for 2209 and also for 2208. We can have, I have linked to the 2208 as well. So here again, choose UART option. You can choose two of each if you want to. I recommend 2209 on X and Y if you want sensorless homing. If you don't need sensorless homing, then 2208 is perfectly fine. Then we need some fans. These are layer fans. The, you want the 24 volt option and you want the dual ball bearing option. Then you need a blower for the hot end and you want the one piece 24 volt option for that. Also dual ball bearing. We need to cool the drivers. So you need that 24 volt silent fan. And this fan is actually okay even at $1. <laughs> You can buy one or two and you can have one outlet fan and one inlet fan. The most important thing is that you have one inlet fan that blows on the drivers. We need some end stops for X and Y and this is a six pack. But anyway, these are the ones I use. I like them and it's never bad to have some extra. For mesh bed leveling, we can use the 3D touch from Triangle Lab, which works fine. 
And then we need a serious heater for this machine. We want to go with AC heater. So choose either one of these 110, 220, uh, depends on where you live. For switching the silicon heater, we need a SSR, a solid state relay. And usually I just go with the 40DA option here. We want to add a thermal fuse to our bed. So if it overheats, it shuts down, which is very important. So get this five pack of fuses, the best security option you can have on these AC heaters. So one of the most important parts, the hot end melting part. Uh, I've chosen the Triangle Lab V6 hot end. If you don't go with the genuine one, which I recommend go with the genuine E3D V6. If you want to go with a clone, then this is one of the better ones, which also has the similar thermistor as the genuine E3D. So you want 175, 24 volt, all metal in this choice. Then you also need a decent tube for the button. So choose the 1.9 OD4 option here, whatever color that suits your needs. Then a power supply. On this page you are going to choose, it actually says here, 24 volt, 10 amps, 240 watts. This one, so 20 bucks for that and I have used them for a long time, I know they work, they work great. Then we need a fused switch. So just add this one to your cart. Then we need some serious good timing belts and pulleys for this machine. Let's look at the belt. So choose the 5 meter, 6 millimeter, 2 GT option. Then we're gonna add a pulley. So this is also a high quality pulley. So add two of five bore option. Add one eight bore option, which is important. We need that for our C drive. For the pulleys, these are high quality pulleys and these are the only one that actually fits on the machine. So if you do use low quality pulleys, then you will need to add some spacers. As you see in the bill of materials, we need seven of this first option. We also need six pieces of the second option. Then we need some stepper motors with cables and these are awesome and they are also quite affordable. So I recommend these motors and the one meter option with DuPont connectors. They are very handy to use. And then a special part for this printer. So this is a worm drive for the C axis. So this comes in three options and you want the one to 17. So add that to your order. When you order, write 1 to 17. If you do get the 1 to 30, don't uh, worry, you can use that as well. So for the build plate, you'd need a decent thick build plate. I recommend this 5 mm 220 by 220. So add that to your cart and you have all the components and it should be at about $350 US dollars. So that's all the parts you need to build this machine. So tomorrow I'm gonna start the assembly process and we're gonna have a look at the 3D model and how it's put together, which is also very helpful because you can access these files online and then you can also view it together with me or when you need it as an assembly help. So what do you think? Are you excited? Let me know if you are going to build this printer. And also, of course, visit the Facebook page. We also have a build group for this. There has been beta builders already, which are ready to help us. So uh, welcome to the family. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the build log. Have a nice day. Now go melt some plastic.